I am serious. This took ages. Ages. I swear, it's not even ready to be done yet, because the internet still doesn't work and stuff. Yeah, a little button, nothing. Alright, so I'm going to put together a guide to get it to the point where the desktop at least loads. Because this took me forever. There's no guide for anyone, and anyone who wants to do Hackintosh on the E-Machines D620 will praise me for this. I know it, because I'm smart like that. Okay, so first what you need to do is you need to download... I'm going to go over here because I have it, and I'm trying to get it to boot into a virtual machine right now, but it's not working. You need... The Callaway 10.5.2 for Intel AMD. You need that one. You can find that on the Pirate Bay. And I am not trying to be illegal here, but you do um, need this version. And just to make Apple happy, buy a freaking disc. It's not that hard. You can go to the store... Apple Store, wherever you get it, and just buy one. They're like 20 bucks. Just pay for what you get. Even though you're doing it illegally anyways, just pay for it. Alright, so once you've got that, just take a disc, burn it to a disc. This is not the right one, but still, I don't know which ones I have it burned to. You just like, one. Of, this is the one that I burned it to, is one of these. And... Then, when you put it in the system, just turn it on, go through the uh, process of installing it and stuff. And now this is the most important part, because I've installed it so many dang times, it does not work. Name the hard drive, just work this fucking time exclamation mark. That is the most important part. Because it will not work without it. At least I think. Because that's the part. That's what I did. And it worked. So after that. Once you've got it installed. It'll reboot. And everything will not work. And that is exactly what's going to happen. Exactly what's going to happen. Now if I knew exactly what I was doing the first time. The right way. It would have worked. So. On my Mac, which I don't own anymore, and my brother's probably going to take it back, you will need to do this. Which one is it? There it is. You will need to take, if you can read that even, and you can't read it. Um, when you restart your computer, type in, you, when you hit, you hit F8, you type in dash V, space dash s and then once it says root type in f disk space e space dash e sorry space forward slash d e v forward slash r d i s k zero and then hit enter then type print and then hit enter and then put the one that has numbers by it there'll be like five different things and the one that has numbers by it you're going to want to type flag space that number which is usually going to be one then type quit and it should reboot and then if you did that right if nothing failed on you it will boot into the installer now click continue and continue on the language ones and if it you choose don't back up from another Mac and that fails and it stays at the part where it set, it's just loading and it completely fails on you and it restarts the installer after on the third step power off the computer hold, just hold the power button it doesn't really matter and then the steps you will need to follow will be during boot 
you're going to write dash s again when it on the little uh, prompt when you once you pushed F8 when it's restarting. This time type in forward slash when it gets to the root. Type uh, forward slash s bin forward slash f s c k space dash f y and hit enter. When it gets done, it should say file system was modified. That's nothing really. Um, none of this means anything to me, by the way. Just I just know it works because I did it. And then you're going to type in s for well forward slash s bin forward slash mount space u w dash u w and then space forward slash and that space in the, between the forward slash and the u w is very very important. I did it without it, and it kind of didn't work. Then, um, once it says uh, that, type once you get done typing that, you type password space root. Pa no, not password. Pa P pass W D space root, and then hit enter. Not password. Now, once you get once you get there, it'll ask you for um, the new password. Just put in whatever password you want to log into Mac with, and that should, uh, and then that's the one you'll use. And then write, um, once it gets done, write uh, touch space var forward slash db forward slash period apple setup done, and then press enter. Oh, screen just dim there, and. On the prompt, when it gets done, write reboot, and then click enter, and then it'll reboot. Now don't touch anything, and once it gets to the login page, then just use your, uh, t the username is root, and then the password that you put, and then it should boot, just like this. And then you can set up some other things after that, but I don't really know how to do that yet. So that's how to do this painful process, and no one has ever made a video on it, and no one has ever made a Google page on it. I've Googled and Yahooed and everything, and I could not find it, so this is the only thing out there for this, unless someone else has something different, and they have somebody to prove it. So if you, if you can't prove it, just don't try. And thank you for being a pain in the ass to do this. Thank you for taking up my time and life just because of the fact that I had to make you work. I love you, E-Machines D620. You have brought me great pain and ultimate suffering and the enjoyment of making this video. Thank you.